chateado. <risos> Welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. Me llamo Luis Ricardo. Buenos días. You follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Juicy content. Thank you for watching. Thanks for following the official Twitter account. Today, uh, we've got a little uh, special vid for you. Oh yeah, what you got? Uh, November 8th, today, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it is the 100 Drums Wangala Festival of Megalaya. Yes. Uh, by the way, I know this isn't related, but that word reminded me of Malayalam. On the last time we did a video, everybody, like there were 500 comments about the mispronunciation. I don't think I've mispronounced it since the 500K video. Have you? I don't know what you're even Malayalam. There, go. And anyways, but uh, this is about the famous Living Root Bridge. Ah, yes, the famous Living Root Bridge. You remember it though? I do. From the, I think it was. I do. Was, was it from Kar Assam or? I thought it was Awesome, Awesome Assam videos. It was, it was one of the tourism videos. Early on tourism videos. But apparently there's a festival. There's Magalia. Yes, and it's Magalia. About, it's about Magalia. those living root bridges. Right now, my hope, since it's about the living root bridges, it said a hundred drums. Yeah. So do you think there's going to be a hundred drums? I, I I don't know. Do you think there'll be a little drummer boy? Here we go. <laughs> In northeast India, a song. giant cliff right? leads Guys, up to the hidden world. I want to go oh. there. Megalaya. Nearly two kilometers oh. high and buffeted by monsoon that storm like clouds, Hawaii, this is possibly the wettest place on earth. Really? Not California. Wow. Once, oh. 25 meters of rain fell here in a year. The world record. Who's that voice? Living here poses an unusual Very problem. famous voice. And it's not just Is keeping Anthony? dry. No. No? I thought Seattle was the Nearly worst. Nearly all the rain falls during the summer months. It's like holding a beer. Rivers switch from gentle streams to raging torrents. Man, I love the nature of things like this. They become wild and unpredictable, and almost impossible to cross. That's awesome. Oh! That looks like Hawaii right there. There's a, a waterfall like that in Hawaii. Harley and his niece Juliana are busy cultivating a cunning solution. You <coughs> have Thirty years ago, Harley planted this strangler fig on the river's edge, and today he's teaching Juliana how to care for it. The fig's tangled roots help to prevent the bank being washed away. He teaches Juliana to coax the roots across what is now just a stream. When they reach the other side, they'll take hold there. This is the basis of a structure that will survive any deluge. A living bridge. So cool. It's an epic project that no man can complete in one lifetime. So Harley is passing on his knowledge to Juliana. It's so freaking beautiful. Each year, Juliana will need to tend the roots, making them stronger. If she stays and completes her bridge, it will become part of the commuter route here. A network of dozens of living bridges that connect the valleys of Megalaya. That is so cool. Just jaw dropping. Some of them are many centuries old. There are even double deckers. <laughs> just, 
generations ago. Yeah. With Juliana to look after it, the future of this young bridge looks secure. Oh. Sustainable living architecture that will live and grow for generations. Oh, that was gorgeous, but where were the drums? Okay, so I'm guessing this was just about the living bridge and I'm guessing the drums that they were telling us about yeah. are the thing. So it's the place where this bridge is. Is There's where they have the, the drum festival. The drum festival. Got it. Okay. I was mistakenly thinking the drums that's would be what, featured in the video. That's what I thought too. Yeah. Uh, so sorry about that, uh, our stupidity. Yep. Uh, but the happy uh, drum festival. What is that? I would like to react to that. That sounds fun. That sounds really fun. A <laughs> hundred drums. So yeah, but the, the, we've seen those before, obviously, in that the tourism video, and that just doesn't it, get it old. It still blows my mind that you know you're doing something that you're never going to reap the benefits for. Imagine if everybody lived like that. It would be a very different world. It would be a very, very different world. We certainly wouldn't have things going on with our planet the way they're going on right now if people thought that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You think? <laughs> but they don't. Yeah. So there's that. It's so beautiful. I want to... What an amazing legacy to leave behind for your kids and your kids' kids and so on. To know that what you're working on, they will be able to come and walk and touch it and see it. And to go there. To imagine walking across a bridge that you knew your great-great-grandfather and great-great-grandmother had walked across and had fashioned for you they were thinking about you so much that that's part of the work and you get to now touch it that's so my grandparents built this incredible. country by the way what's that from the office that's good <laughs> <laughs> my name is william m buttlicker <laughs> <laughs> just having an office moment <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh i want to <laughs> wherever this place is look i think it's a psalm freaking gorgeous yeah it's it well is it's obviously this absolutely place. gorgeous but where is this place I think that's in Assam. You think it's in Assam? I think so. For some reason, I feel like the living bridges were part of the awesome Assam video. Man. Please correct us Just if those, we're wrong. Like, that's my favorite thing about going anywhere. Yeah. Like when I went to uh, Ireland, we kind of just, we drove around the entire country, the entire island, just looking for old ruins. 100%. Large like cliffs. Uh, just freaking natural, natural beauty yeah. is what I, I, I love. Uh, we In Hawaii, we did this uh, five-mile hike just to see his 400-foot waterfall. Yeah. Uh, and we were alone there. It was great. Uh, what would you do there, Corbin Miles? Uh, soaked in the water. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's this is kind of stuff when we come to India. I know we're going to meet people, and we're going to go to, obviously, we get to, and that's big cities, but... I want to make a point to go to some of these places. Oh and yeah, see the like natural beauty. My one of the things I loved when I was in Calcutta was the trees in Calcutta are gorgeous, mm -hmm. just so freaking beautiful. And I was there just before Durga Puja, so I was watching pandals being constructed, yeah, which awesome. is all with natural materials. Yeah. And man, the transformation when you see pandals being created, they look like nothing. I mean, it just looks like bamboo and tree branches and when you see the finished product, it is it is astonishing how it starts. Yeah, the artistry. Man. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. This any any trip I've ever taken, it's the natural I'd stuff. I'd love to go to the natural, but I've never, I don't, I don't think I have ever walked across a natural bridge. It could be wrong. The only place I would have been would have been Hawaii. No, you know what it makes me think of? And it's not a natural bridge. It's not even remotely close, but it reminds me of what the, the, the Tarzan tree house in oh. Disneyland. Yeah. Which is pure fabrication, but still cool. <laughs> yes, compare this to that. 